delaying you. Since our last interaction here, uh, some unknown persons have been following me with vehicles and I've been monitoring. But the thing came to a head on Friday when I was physically confronted. So this is a threat to the life of Chief Dan Wanyang, my humble self. I am constrained to bring to the notice of the Nigerian public the unprovoked threat to my life by a notorious agent of the former governor of River State and now Minister of Federal Capital Territory, Chief Nelson Wike, by name, Mr. Moses Emmanuel. This bloodthirsty killer brazenly confronted me at the pastry shop, Transcorp Hilton, where I was having snacks and coffee with my friend Alaji Aliu. He said he wanted to, when he came, he said he wanted to speak with me. Not having known him before, I demanded to know what he wanted to speak to me about. He insisted he would like to speak with me, and I offered him a seat to sit down. He introduced himself as a brother to Chief Nelson Mwike and began a threat to my life, making reference to the television interview I granted where I expressed my personal views on the avoidable crisis in River State, which was being orchestrated and fueled by the followers of the former governor by his instinct against the incumbent governor, Chief Simi Fubara. Most well-meaning Nigerians and leaders have at various times since the crisis began expressed their views, concerns about the threatening explosion in that critical state of Nigeria. I have in all my political life intervened to the best of my ability on any issue that is likely to destabilize our fledging democracy. I have never sat on the fence where issues of national interest are concerned. In that manner, I raise my voice, as I have always done, in other issues that border on national unity and stability. I express my concern on Chief Mwike's interference and meddlesomeness in the governance of River State, a state he governed for eight uninterrupted years. I was concerned that if law and order should break down in River State, its impact on already poor economic situation in the country will further deteriorate and may snowball into a larger, bigger conflagration in a country that is already restive with many unimaginable, unmanageable flashpoints. No patriotic political leader will see such impending danger and not stand boldly and forthrightly to, to be counted among the peacemakers to reduce the tension in river states. It is this interview that I granted to express my personal views and suggested, made suggestions on the burning issues of river state crisis 
that apparently angered Chief Mwike to dispatch his hitman to threaten me with elimination if I venture to speak on the matter of Rivers and Mwike again. This wild dog became so vociferous in his threats that others around the pastry corner had him. And this attracted the security agencies in the Transcorp Hilton. They took him to the basement of the hotel for interrogation. He was interrogated, and the colleague with him, who did not disclose his identity, told him to call the minister. Call the minister. Call the minister. And he made frantic, call, frantic efforts. The call got through, and he spoke to somebody. His phone, shortly after that call, he made another call. The third call came, and he wanted to hand over the phone to me. I said I was not going to talk to anybody. He pleaded and pleaded. I said no. He told the man on the other side, he said he would not speak to you. The man said, tell Chief Dan, it is Chuku Emeka Mwoke that wants to talk to him. Then I took the phone. Immediately I took the phone, I said, Emeka, you and your boss Mwike have sent your hit men to kill me. He said, no, 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 nobody's going to kill you. you. The man is here. He said he will shoot me, he will kill me. And he's calling you. He has called the minister. He's calling you, which means you are aware that he, he was with me in, trans in Transcorp. I said I will not speak with him again. He said, please, we are in Port Harcourt. We are coming back on Monday. And I will see you. I said that won't be necessary. Emeka Woke was WK chief of staff as governor. He also has a federal appointment here now in Abuja. Well, that was that. The security men who intervened, Transcorp security, police, DSS, and army, I didn't know they have all that squad there, asked me what I would want to do. At this point, I told them, I would want to press a charge of threat to life. I believe the hotel management with the standard of Transcorp Hotel must have the footages through their CCTV, what I have stated here for the purpose of verification. And I also believed that DSS open a thorough investigation, we verify and corroborate the telephone the conversation between me and Chief Emeka Nwoke. I wish to seize this opportunity to draw the attention of the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Chief Bola Ahmed Tinibu, of the involvement of a cabinet minister in his cabinet, in the person of Chief Mwike, FCT minister, in the threat to my life. I similarly draw the attention of the Inspector General of Police, Director General of DSS, National Security Advisor, and the general public to this ugly situation, which, if not nipped in the bud, we degenerate to a point where a Nigerian will no longer be safe anymore to express his opinion on national issues, even as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria guarantees freedom of expression as an inalienable right of every Nigerian citizen. Should anything happen to me and any member of my family, Henceforth, the president, Nigerian citizens, should not look far from who did it. I was able to obtain 
an undertaking and a letter of apology from the same Moses, Emmanuel, for threatening my life. That is a copy of the undertaking and the letter of apology threatening my life in Transcorp. His pictures are here. And I have referred to, you see, Transcorp Hotel is a very good hotel that there are cameras. You can't pick a pin in Transcorp, they won't get you. So I have called on them to go into the CCTV. They should start with the pastry corner. I sat coolly with Elijah Liu on my table alone when they walked in. And I want to state that trusting that the president will take the matter seriously, I demand that I'm provided with adequate and enough security to protect myself and my family. I offer that demand that Chief Nelson Wike should sign an undertaking that he will be held responsible just as his agent has signed which I have shown you the copy of his undertaking here. If anything unwholesome happens to me and my family, I want to add, I am undeterred. I didn't join politics because of Nyeson Wike. I have been consistent. And I have done a check on who Moses Emmanuel is. That's why I'm not calling him a killer. He's the one that did all the dirty jobs in Rivers. This was the report I got. He has moved here with his men. And why am I calling the president? Because those things that were happening in Rivers will soon start happening in Abuja. So the president should not look far. We cannot run away because of one man. We have been in this game. He should be ready to kill more people. What did I say that angered him? Because I revealed what he had in his heart. That he will run against President Tinubu. Which is true. If I lied, you come out and say Nigerians, don't mind that, he's a liar. I will not run against Tinubu. Why have you not denied it? You decided to use Gestapo tactics as a response. Come and say I lied. I will give more information. I have more on that. He will run against him. Come and deny it. Even as I'm talking to you now, vice presidential candidates have been penciled. I don't talk anyhow. I know what I'm saying. They are from the north. Is that your pen? Come and say it's not true. Then I will make references and produce facts. That shouldn't anger you to the point of taking life. So the report I, get about, I got about Moses is that he is a killer. In fact, one of the guys said that he's the one that, points, that, that, that pours champagne and whiskey in his cup, in his boss cup, when they want to laugh in a joke. That is the man that confronted me directly in Transcorp, in an open place. I am not talking fabu. I have called the security agencies, go and take the footage. You will see it in Transcorp. And he has already written an apology and undertaken. But that is not enough. That's why I'm bringing this public conference so that Nigerians will know. I had the option to keep quiet, but everybody I spoke to said, no, let the public know. Should anything happen tomorrow, go ahead, we can, responsible. Nyeso Mwike, Minister, FCT. These are his boys. And even as I have mentioned his name, Moses Emmanuel, when you go out, call River State, people you know, and ask them who is Moses Emmanuel. That was the guy that confronted me, uninvited, and said he will shoot me, I will kill you. So that is what I want to tell you. But don't say that I'm running away. I won't run away. I will continue to speak the truth. This country belongs to all of us. 
It's not because of what I call relativity to time and space. You got somewhere. You think you are the only one loved by God. The fact that you succeeded doesn't mean that others are foolish or stupid. It is relativity to time and space. So that is the information I'm giving you. And I want the public to know this. That Mwike sent his hitmen to kill me on Friday between the hours of 2 o'clock and 3 p.m. Sometimes, when I look at this man, I begin to laugh. I don't understand. He's also afraid of Wike. Is this not the same Wike that I know? Or is it under one? Is it under one? Is the Wike another Wike? Anyway, some people have their way of doing things. Why some others believe it's the other way around. But the truth is this. People don't threaten a person like me. You don't threaten me. That did not have even when I was in Nigeria. Nobody threatens me, I go through with it. After that threat, the same person that threatened me will be dead in the next day. Nobody can threaten me and go through with it. No matter where you think you are coming from, what am I thought you think you believe you have. I don't know why this man anyway. The are politicians, they know what they are dragging. I don't know. I don't know. But what I, I believe here is that all the atrocities Wiki has committed, especially against IPB members, he will not go through with it. He will not go through with it. People will ask him someday. Let him wait and see. That he left as governor and immediately ran to become a federal minister, capital territory. <laughs> will not stop what will come to him when the time comes. I've said it before. I said it in my old news that if such thing did not happen, then I will understand that this struggle it was not meant to be. Nothing concerns me, consign this uh, whether he's threatening an evil man like him, even though he had denied not being an evil man. That is his own problem. So no, we will chase him out of Potakot, let him go and live in a do state. That is where he claimed he was coming from. That is the truth. But for this man, Chief Iwanyang, if he believes that uh, asking Tinibu to give him a security, because these are two people working together, Tinibu Wike, he believes asking Tinibu to give him a security is what will end the problem. Well, that is his own problem. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.